Okay, let's make another Christmas wreath. <laughs> and as a little disclaimer before we get started, you'll probably hear my voice is a little uh, nasally. And that is because we do not have the flu. We have COVID. Exciting. Actually, we have a very mild case of COVID, um, more like just a head cold. I'm on day eight and Bob is on day seven. Michael is probably nine or 10. And Carrie managed to avoid it. <laughs> Lucky her. So I'm gonna just make, this is a small frame. This is a 1020 frame. And as you can see the difference, here's this one. Okay, and this one is one of the ones I usually use and it fits right down over it. You can see the difference in size. But we're going to make a ruffle wreath to put in the sitting room that we use. And I have this blue and white blue and this is silver and white snowball mesh. And then this is navy blue. I've cut all of these at 20 inches. And I'm going to put two ruffles in each one of these ties. There are a total of 12 ties on this wreath. So I think it'll get plenty poofy with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the blue on top the first time or the second time and then the white on top the next time. So we're just going to make some ruffles. And you'll hear one of the dogs is at the door. And hopefully I can get some of this made because these are all cut at 20 inches. Okay, so let me just put this one in. This is the white snowball. Now the numbers, I don't have the uh, paper here, but the numbers are in the video that shows the haul where I got this material. And I gave you all the numbers. This is 10 inch mesh. And I have it cut at 20 inches. one I'm going to put the white on the bottom and the blue on the top. In the blue, this is 20 inches, ruffling it right up the middle. She's getting a little annoyed that I won't open the door, but this is the one that's a puppy. 
and she will immediately start eating anything and everything that's in front of her. So we don't let her in places like this. She's just six months old and she's a setter, Irish setter. It's amazing how quick they grow. I happen to be one of the people who lost my sense of taste with the COVID. But uh, it's beginning to come back now. Not much, but it, a little bit. Actually, will make a fairly nice size wreath. Whoops, I, that one wants to go on top. Let me do, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put this right here for now and hold it. Get my white one. this pretty huh you see the blue and the white together hold on okay Mike just came home so he'll help with the puppy now we're gonna put the blue one on the bottom this time And I'm just kind of folding the under, the edge under just a slight bit. It just helps it keep it from fraying quite so much. This one I'm going to use in the sitting room, I said, I like where we sit, just up on the wall to make a bit of Christmas. The kids don't do a lot of Christmas decorating here because they spend Christmas uh, at the land, they call it the land at their cottage. But they will put up a tree or two, and I'm going to do some decorating so that we'll have some Christmas lights and things. I've got my two tiered tray. We'll do that. This one's going to have the white on the bottom. There's a total of 12 ties on this frame. On the regular size one that I normally use, there are 18.
Got all my Christmas cards made and out and mailed. And I've had some response from people who have received them already. Now that's one project completed. <laughs> I guess the puppy is back. Okay, blue on the bottom. I think this is the last one on the bottom row. We had some lake effect snow the other day. And we must have got a good, oh, maybe three inches. But today, the temperature is almost 50. And so, it's all gone. This is why I don't do too many videos when the kids are here because of course the dogs don't like closed doors. <laughs> so, but we're getting it. Okay, that's a pretty good size. Kind of hard to see the colors together on the camera, but you'll see it better when it's hanging up. Okay, we'll go up to the top. I must say that the Christmas lights that people have out looked really pretty with the snow as a backdrop, as long as I don't have to drive in it. This one's going to be the white on top. This one's going to be the white on the bottom. Sorry. You see? <laughs> Turn it around, I forget where it was.
Pretty, 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 pretty. This one's gonna have the blue on the bottom. The snowball mesh is really quite soft. It's, it's easy on the fingers for ruffling. The regular mesh is a little bit scratchy. Pretty, huh? This is going to be white on the bottom. We have two more. How's everybody doing with their Christmas shopping? Thank goodness for online shopping, especially having the, had the uh, virus make shopping a little difficult. Last one, and this is going to be blue on the bottom. One more piece. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Ours was quiet, but tasty. really pretty with the two pieces together. Kind of hard to see it well here. Now I'm going to make a bow. So let me get this picked up and I'll be back with the bow. Okay, I have three ribbons. 
This is a two and a half inch, and it's kind of a Christmassy, it has wreaths on it, blues and purples and greens. This is, they're all, there's two two and a half, and then this is a two and a half, and that's got the sparkles. And then I have a one and a half, which I think is really pretty, and that has the bows on it. So what I'm going to do is to make three separate ribbons, three separate bows, and then stack them on top of each other. So let's start with this one. And I'm going to move this wreath over here. There we go. And I'm going to do about a, about a six inch, I think. Back and forth, and I'm twisting. I'm going to do four and four. One more. Now I'm going to take a piece of wire for this one. And this time, I'm just twisting, 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 twisting. Okay. Okay, now we'll just move on to the next one. The 
this is going to be three and three. And I'm going to make this five. Okay, we'll get another piece of wire. I lost my thing. Let's get this around the back, get them together, and twist it. Okay, and see that one's going to go in here. One more, and this one will be two and two. And what did I do with my ribbon? under the wreath. I haven't got too much of this. We'll see what we can get. I think we'll have just enough. Okay, one more piece. 
Now this time, I'm going to make this kind of long. Gonna go under, get it kind of to the middle. Give it a twist. Okay, now I'm going to take these two pieces of wire. And I'm going to go down around all of them. And I still have enough in my hand to attach it to the wreath. So let me get the wreath over here. And I'm really going to just put it almost in the middle. Can't really see it too well right at the moment, but you will. Okay, let me just show you what I can show you here. And then you'll see it a lot better when I put it up on the wall. But it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. be back when I get it up on the wall and you'll see how pretty. Well here it is. It's not on the wall. It's on uh, the door. We have French doors that come in from the living room and I've got it on here. It's kind of dark right now so it's hard to see but it came out really pretty. It's small, but it's just perfect for here. And down here on this table, I will have my ceramic Christmas tree. So it's going to make a nice little decoration. I like it. I don't think I'd make a habit of making the small ones, but I think it came out just fine. The light is changing because the TV is going. It's actually about the only light I can get for it. So there you go. I'll be back again with another craft in a little while. Until then, everybody have a great day. It's now Saturday, football day, and I will see you again shortly. Until then, everybody play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.